Hello everybody, Prince of the Bear here, and we're back with another at-home product review. This time, Jamaican patties. With Beyond Meat. From the freezer section. Certified vegan. Is non -GMO. it certified vegan? It definitely has a modified ingredients in it. Is it on the front thing? Yeah. Certified plant-based. Plant-based. But, I mean, if you look at the ingredients, there's is no... actually vegan. Yeah. It, but it does have genetically modified flour. We're a bit worried about the heating instructions, <laughs> but that's what you have us for to be the guinea pigs for you. So let's go heat these up and see just how good these Jamaican beef patties actually are. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. So now we have all nice and cooked with a golden crust. They at least true to their name. Now it's probably an artificially cr golden crust, but it is in fact golden. And flaky. So I'm not gonna judge them too harshly for it. Uh, the packaging is somewhat insulated, so when you microwave it, you may need to uh, heat longer than what the instructions say. Obviously microwaves vary. Our microwave is usually on the weak side, so we're not really that surprised. Uh, we've already pre-cut it for you. So nice. So now we have a yeah, nice flaky, got a nice half to it. Hardy looking. Cheers. Oh. Yeah, cheers. Amalgamous meat. <laughs> Interesting. Ooh, hot. That tastes like Beyond Meat. Wow, hundred percent. Frozen Beyond Meat, which is exactly what it is. I think I do actually get a hint of Jamaican in there. Not I, much. I don't really get a lot of Jamaican out of that. It tastes like frozen meat product with a hint and beyond. I would eat it if I was desperate, like if I had to grab something quick at work and I could stop at the store. Like but a, yeah, like a, a work vending machine. Yeah. Or I had to run into 7-Eleven for lunch and they had these available and you were vegan, which is what this is about. We don't expect this to be gourmet food. That is not the goal. The goal is to be able to live like everybody else lives. But I would not eat it on a regular basis or Pick yeah, this thing. I imagine like it's not snack. it's not great for you, but neither are gas station hot dogs. And yet, every time you walk in a gas station, there they be. It's just like I thought it was gonna be bigger chunks of meat. Honestly, it's like pureed, or maybe there's something else in there besides the beef, like Beans. a bean or some sort. To me, it just tastes frozen, which is what it is. I was worried about the crust. But it is actually flaky. The crust is the best part. Mm. I like it. So, I mean, I was making jokes about the golden crust, but they, they, they A plus the crust. The crust is like a four and a half. I wish we got crust like this and some of the things we did at the theme park. Because some of those are not that good. I would, though, love to be able to oven mm. cook it instead of microwaving it. I personally prefer to heat my items up in the oven. So... Having those oven instructions would have been much nicer than microwaving, yeah. in my opinion. I think I would have appreciated and enjoyed the flavoring more. And even if you're not like a full oven, we have a toaster oven that we use for small things all the time, like bagels and whatnot. We, instructions for those, like it's the same sort great. of oven. And like, not everybody likes a microwave. Not everybody owns a microwave. Or air fryer. Oddly enough, not everybody. Maybe air somebody wants to air fry it. Don't know why you need to refry these, but maybe, somebody maybe will you try. Want to crisp it. Will it air fry? We are not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would rate them a three out of two and a half or three out of five Jamaican patties. They're okay. Like I said, I wouldn't go proactively pick them up. You don't like gas station again. I just they just taste frozen to me. They do taste frozen, but they were in fact a frozen. We got these in the frozen section of our local grocer, the same as we get Beyond Meat and Impossible Products, Gardein, all the rest of that. Uh, I want to see more stuff like this. Uh, I would like to be able to walk into a gas station and buy a vegan microwave meat product if I need to. It's coming in the future. I need to. The future is, is definitely here. I mean, it's a solid three. It has potential. I think it would have been better if we'd had oven instructions. Things always come out less than ideal in the microwave. But it has, the product has potential. I can see an audience for this kind of food, and I'm happy about it. Uh, if Jamaican Crust makes other products, Jamaican Crust for out there, we would love to try those. If you guys want to see us try those, by all means, let us know about these Golden Crust products in the comments below. They have one other flavor. We only got the one mild Yeah, flavor. we need the spicy. They do have a spicy. 
but I wasn't. I didn't have a lot of faith in frozen spicy. We just so went with the one. We went with the mild. Uh, if there's anything else you like to see us do, products you like to see us review, making sure that you interact and comment on these videos is how you ensure that we do more of those. I don't know why my hand is shaking up and down. I'm not <laughs> Jamaican. Uh, <laughs> but the comments is always a good place to find us. Hit the notification <laughs> bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video and comment. Otherwise, maybe Bear will not eat Jamaican food anymore. Or maybe I'll actually make us go to Jamaica so we can have real Jamaican food. Okay, I really like that. You should comment.